All right, guys, thank you for tuning in for this new videos that I'm going to make on unary and binary operators. So the idea is that I would like to just continue from where I left off in my previous video on arithmetic operators, where I introduced the five arithmetic operators that there is. And in this video, particularly, I'm going to be talking about uh, unary and binary operators, that, like I said. And uh, this is generally a very basic and fundamental concept in uh, programming in general. And I really wanted to share it with you today. So as you can see on my screen, I have put some expressions here. And uh, based on these expressions, I'm going to explain what a, binary, a unary operator is and what a binary operator is. Okay, so as you can see, I have declared my variables here. I have uh, four variables that I have in the data type int, and I have one variable um, uh, that is having a data type of double. Uh, so double is used, as you um, know by now, for decimal numbers. So I have the E here where I have put my decimal numbers because I have already declared this variable as um, a decimal number by giving it a data type of double. So if you want to try, like for example, if I, in um, this variable, for example, I want to add a decimal number, you will see that I will get an error, you see? This is the error I'm getting. So what the error is saying that I should cast or like convert uh, that variable or I should change, you know, change type of C, you know, that variable that I declared here, I declare it as an integer, but here I'm trying to pass decimal number. So that's why I'm getting the error. So just to explain that. So before I should go uh, further um, defining what a unary operator is and what a binary operator is, uh, let me first explain some few things, okay? Uh, so as you can see, these expressions that I have here are called um, arithmetic expressions because they are made up of arithmetic operators, like you can see the minus here and the the plus symbol here, you know, you, we can also have a division uh, symbol here. So they are arithmetic um, expressions. And uh, so we already discussed about um, arithmetic operators in the previous video. And um, so we already know what they are, you know, so arithmetic operators, are uh, represented by the arithmetic symbols that we have here on the screen or you can look at them here uh, we have the modulus we have the division we have the multiplication symbol the, the subtraction symbol and then the addition symbol okay so so we already know that the operators are represented by the arithmetic symbols and in these expressions, uh, these arithmetic expressions, you can see that we have numbers here, you know, or we have the six here, we have seven, five, nine, but we also have variables, you know, variables that I have chose, uh, chosen to represent by using alphabetical letters. And in Java, in programming in general, these numbers and variables which are represented uh, by alphabetical letters are called operands, okay? So in these arithmetic expressions, we have operands, which are the numbers and the variables here that are used to evaluate the operators. We also have operators that are represented by the alphabetical symbols in these expressions. So, for example, in this example I have here, we see that we have numbers. We have two, we have eight. 
but we also have variables B and E here are variables that are declared in my program, my small program here. And these numbers and variables are used to evaluate these operators that we have here. We have the minus, we have the addition, we also have the multiplication. So these operands, you know, the numbers and the variables are used to evaluate these operators, the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, and uh, uh, the addition, like I said. So they are considered to be, you know, the numbers and uh, the alphabetical and the variable are considered to be the operands for these distinct um, arithmetic operators. So what is, uh, if we want to know what is a unary operator, let's take, for example, this first example, okay? Where we have A is equal, you know, to minus six. So in this example, uh, the minus, this minus symbol here is an operator as we know, but here it is also specifying, it is also used to specify that this number is a negative number, that six here is actually a negative number. And we also know that as I explained earlier on that five, he, six here is representing, is called an operand, okay? As I explained earlier on. So in this example particularly, we only have one operator, which is the minus symbol or the subtraction symbol. And we have one operand, which is the number six here, okay? Or we can also say that the operator, the minus sign here is only having one operand. Thus, this operator is called a unary operator. So to cut it short, uh, a unary operator or unary operators are operators that have only one operand, okay? So I could write something like A here and then put the sign, the addition symbol here and five, okay? So this will make these two variables or these two operators, the addition symbol here and the minus symbol here as unary operators because they have one operand. So it all depends on the number of operands that are uh, surrounding the operator, okay? So here we have one operator and one operand. Thus, we call this operator a unary opera, uh, operator. But there is something that we also need to note here is that uh, it is important to really uh, note that that only the minus symbol, uh, the, the, the addition symbol, and then the minus symbols can be unary operators. This is to say that the division and the multiplication and even the modulus symbol cannot be uh, unary operators because we cannot write, for example, uh, A is equal to, you know, like five, this, like this, you know, as you can see, I'm getting an error. And even in mathematics or arithmetic, it is not possible to write such uh, numbers, or I cannot put it like this. I will still get an error or put a modular sign in front of it like this. I will still get an error because this is not correct according to the syntax of the programming language and even according to real life. When you do mathematic or arithmetic, you cannot write such numbers. So that means that only the, the the addition operator and then the subtraction operator can be unary operators. 
So, so, and also we can also note that they can be unary operators and they can also be binary operators as I'm going to explain in just a couple of seconds. So this is, so like I said, the modulus, the multiplication, the division uh, operators cannot be unary operators. So now what is a binary operator? So as you might have guessed, a binary operator is an operator that is surrounded by two operands. So in the other examples, all the operators are binary operators. So these examples we have here, all of the operators that we have in these expressions are binary operators because they are actually surrounded by um, two uh, operands, okay? So if we take the example of this, for example, so this subtraction um, operator is actually a binary because it's surrounded by seven and five. So it is a binary operator, you know? And uh, the next one as well, is surrounded by two operands. We have nine and we have a, which is a variable, and uh, which is also an operand. So this means that this uh, addition operator is um, a binary operator. Okay. So as you can notice, in all these expressions, they are all surrounded by two operands. So in this example, for example, D is equal to B minus A plus two times eight, you know? So all these operators in this expression are binary operators, because as you can see, they are all surrounded by, um, you know, uh, by two operands. And as you can also notice, we have the minus, um, the subtraction, the, the addition, the multiplication. We can also even put the division, uh, the, the modulus um, operand here. You know, all of these operators, all of the operators can actually be binary operators. So that was it concerning uh, unary and uh, binary operators. So like, just like I said, it's a very basic, very simple concept in uh, programming in general. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you since we discussed about uh, operators and I thought it would be um, interesting if I could also add up a little bit of this uh, subject of unary operators and binary operators. So I hope this video has been informative uh, to you and uh, don't forget to like, to comment and to uh, suggest, you know, and also to subscribe to the channel. And uh, until then, let's meet in the next video where I would probably be talking about the order of precedence in arithmetic uh, expressions. Bye.